Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and today we will get started with uh, creating our first test case. Okay, so uh, you know this this is going to be the agenda for today. So we will we'll fix some existing issues in the framework. We'll also create a very simple Google page test case. See, uh, don't imagine that oh, you know I am giving examples with Google. I, I know I will take some complex website websites like Amazon or or Orange Charm or whatever. but but for now i am trying to you know uh, uh, go step by step so i want to focus more on creating a, a robust test before heading into uh, you know creating a page layers so please have the patience uh, and listen to me uh, we will we will we'll, we'll create the page layers uh, soon okay uh, and then we'll also see how we can add a test engine assertions to validate the results we'll also understand what is the issue you know with the current implement implementation or how we can make it better so instead of test engine assertions uh, what i can do to make my uh, test case much clean okay so we will we will we'll see all that uh, in today's session uh, let's get back to the uh, eclipse now if you notice uh, one of our thumb rule states uh, don't hard code but we have already hard coded here so many of you might have guessed by now uh, what we should do so so you all know that we already have something similar so what we did we, uh, we have something called as a framework constants where we have maintained our chrome driver path right the same way okay i'm going to maintain uh, this uh, maybe i can name it as um, config uh, file path or config path whatever so config file path okay something like this and then uh, instead of executables uh, my config file is located in uh, you know inside config folder right so config and then config dot properties right so config okay so we we, we have done i uh, you know we have created a new thing here but let's try to create a getter okay uh, let's go to the source uh, generate getters and setters and i want to generate a, a getters for this yes since it's a final variable it didn't even give me the option of setters good so now we have created a uh, getter method for this particular variable now let me go here and remove this whole stuff and here instead of all these things i can just mention framework constants dot sketch uh, config file path okay good now if i also go here uh, and notice um, you know uh, there is some case sensitive issues so maybe the method that it has generated is not good so i have altered it and if you also notice i have uh, something that is keep repeating so the path till resources is keep repeating for my uh, both uh, uh, variables so what i can do i can create one more okay i can one, create one more which can hold until here okay so what i can tell uh, i can tell private uh, i can just paste it in this okay and then instead of this i can just mention its path to resources yeah resources path or path to resources whatever you feel comfortable and let me close this and here instead of using this whole thing okay until here right i can remove this whole thing and then just use resources path okay plus yeah and append with the existing values so by this way so we are we are even removing the uh, unnecessary stuff okay good so everything looks good now okay maybe the we have changed the name so just change again Good. Now we have, uh, you know, fixed all the issues with our existing issue, uh, existing issues. Now what we have, we have to create our some a test, right? So let me go to the test case. Okay, we are going to create a very simple test case. Okay, and I think I don't need this anymore. This login page test. So what I can do uh, for now, I can come on this. Okay, or I can remove it completely. So, so I don't need this login page test anymore. So I just remove it. and go to the home page test we are going to build it here and then we will uh, create the page layers move all the stuff later okay but for now we are focusing on uh, creating a test case okay so uh, what i want to do i want to uh, i have already entered uh, a testing mini bytes youtube in the google search and if you also go here you know so 
testing device YouTube. If we go here. Okay, this is the this is the page that it will display, right? So uh, what I want to do, I want to check the title of this page as well. So I want to validate a title. Okay, whether the title is having a, a this particular text. Okay, and then I also I want to validate whether with the list of uh, number of links that is listed here, how many links that are displayed in this first page. And I also I want to validate uh, whether this testing mini bytes hyphen YouTube this particular link is available there. Okay, this is a very simple test case, right? But we will we'll see uh, how this is how we are uh, you know uh, creating uh, this and then how we can make this much better. Okay, so what I can do uh, first, I want to get the title of the URL. So what I can tell uh, there is something called as get you know get title. Okay, this is the title, right? So I want to validate the title. So I can just store it in a variable. So maybe I can write all all the things that I want to validate so that you can keep it as a reference. So what I want to do uh, first, I want to validate uh, whether the title. Okay. Yes. Uh, if you notice, uh, the title here is having testing many bytes. Okay. I don't know. If it's having testing many bytes. YouTube hyphen Google search. If I search with automation, the 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 title will have automation hyphen YouTube hyphen Google search. So uh, you know, I just want to check whether th there is a Google search. Okay, I'm, I don't bother about whatever is coming before because if I want to validate with some other test data, so it will be different. So I just want to validate whether the title is having Google search or ending with Google search, right? This is one of the condition. Let's go here, uh, whether title is uh, containing uh, Google search, uh, Google search or Google search. Again, I don't bother about the case sensitiveness, so I want to validate like that. And the second one, I want to validate whether that validate whether the title that we fetched is not null. Okay. And this length of the okay, length of the title okay is greater than 15. Uh, greater than 15 and less than some value, okay, maybe 100. Okay, whatever. So I want to validate like this. Next, I want to check for the links in the page. And then I want to validate the presence of uh, uh, testing okay, mini bytes. Okay, hyphen YouTube. Okay, so I want to validate this. Good. After that, I also want to validate uh, whether the number of links, number of links displayed is uh, exactly uh, 10 or 15 whatever the number okay good so this is what uh, the test case for today so we will try to implement that so for that i have fetched the title of this so what i want to do i want to make some assertion so i can use assert dot assert equals and what i what i want to go you know this is the actual right first i am checking checking whether this is null okay it's not null okay so what we can do we also know um, I can directly check like this as a true. Okay, I can check directly as a true objects dot not null and I want to pass title. So that if it is not null, it will return me true. Okay, and then I am going to assert it. Okay, that's good. Now this uh, we have uh, uh, done this check. Next, we also want to check whether it is containing Google search. Okay, for that I need to add another assertion statement. Assert equals. Okay, I want to compare two strings. Yes, that's fine. What is a string? I want to check um, title is containing. So again, I cannot directly compare um, because I don't know. The, I just want to make sure that it is ending with right. So again, I want to use assert true. And as a true, whether the title dot contains uh, Google search. Google search. Good. And one more thing, uh, if I also want to validate whether the length of the title is greater than 15. Okay, something like that. So what I can write as a dot as a true, again, I want to give a condition whether title dot length 
is greater than 15 okay this is one of the condition i also have another condition okay that is title dot length should be less than 100 okay so we have implemented all the condition and also if you notice whether the title is containing google search or google search so i don't bother about the cases here so what i can do i can do two lower case okay and then i can directly check with google search okay whether it's it's containing google search or if you are good at regular expressions maybe you can use something like this as a dot as a true um, okay what you can do uh, title dot uh, matches okay that is something called as matches again if you want to do matches uh, maybe two lower case dot uh, matches you can pass the regular expression right the string of regular expression okay so how it is so i don't bother about whatever it's coming so i just want it to be a word character and then i don't know how many character i, I you know when i when i when i mean w it means it can be either uh, if you know regular expression it's good otherwise it it is something like this okay a to z or 0 to 9 so it can be any of this okay when i mean slash w it means any of the word character from a to z or a capital a to z or zero to nine whatever it is and the dot represent it can be any of it and the number of occurrences i i don't want you know i don't know exactly how many occurrence will be there because sometime if i search with testing many bytes it will be having like 20 20 characters if i search with automation it will have some 10 or some 9 right so so i don't know exactly how much if i know exactly then i can enter like this okay but now i don't know exactly so what i can do something like this and then i also want to have whatever the string is there in the front i don't bother but it needs to end with google search because i have converted to lower case okay this is one this is also you know this way or this way whatever you feel comfortable you can assert using that good so uh, you know for making a, a title validation we have written five lines of assertion okay you can use, even use a soft asset that doesn't matter but still you have to write all these things okay then let's come here and we also will have we have to validate this particular thing okay check for the links in the page a testing mini bytes youtube okay let's go here now uh, let me inspect this so if you notice it's it's under h3 tag inside span okay so what i can do i can write an x path like h3 uh, you see that that's a span tag okay so if you notice there is one of 10 so it will going to return me elements okay that's fine okay i'll copy this okay go here and then again i want to validate so driver manager dot find get driver right so wherever you are using driver so far in our framework we have to use driver manager dot get driver again we will create it and move to a page list but for now just focus on this uh, we will we'll resolve all the problems with our uh, existing test case before we create our page layers okay so i want to find elements okay this is going to return uh, a list of web element right so using by dot x path okay and this is the export expression again i don't i just want to get the list of web elements okay so again if you are lazy uh, like me then just type string equal to a eclipse will say, give you the suggestion to change it okay and then you can make the changes okay again i think my eclipse id is having some problem let's close it and open it now all that's are gone good now we have a list of web element the first thing that we want to validate is uh, you know the size okay whether the size is uh, 10 okay so what i can do i can assert like uh, assert dot assert equals okay our actual actual is elements dot size right will give me the size of the elements and i want to validate whether it is 10 okay good now the second assertion is i want to check for the links i want to iterate all the links and then i need to find whether there is something called as testing mini bytes okay uh, youtube if there is a some text like uh, testing mini bytes iphone youtube so to do this uh, how we normally do so we need to iterate right so maybe i'll, I'll iterate with the uh, you know enhanced for loop uh, which will give me web elements uh, maybe and uh, collection as elements okay what i want to do 
uh, I want to fetch the text. Okay, I want to fetch the text from there, and then I want to uh, I know check for maybe I can do a equals ignore case or equals whatever you feel good. But the thing is, I want to search whether this particular link is available. Testing many bytes, I find you. Good. And if it is matching, I'll anyways check here what are the. Okay, I think this is the text, exact text. You can also copy it from here and paste it here. Here is it the same? Okay, if it is matching, okay, uh, what I can do? I can just create Boolean is element present. Maybe I default that to false. Okay, if it is there, then I want to uh, change it to true. Okay, and then I want to break. I don't want to compare after that. I just want to break the for loop. Okay, once it is ended, okay, I'll do the assertion here. Okay, as a dodge as a true okay and the condition is uh, is I just want to check whether the element present is true if it is not true you need to tell okay you can add your custom description right I hope you are all aware of this so what you can do uh, testing mini bytes not found you can add your custom messages for whatever the asset statements you have even you can you can add your custom messages here okay uh, uh, title is null title is null whenever okay whatever when it's failed we want to give some uh, you know statements right that you can add at the end okay so this is the kind of statement that we have to add these many assertion statements to validate this okay first let's check whether if it is working fine and then we will see how we can optimize this okay so first let's run this okay let's run this test ng test so guys if you are taking step by step so if you feel little slow please uh, increase the playback speed okay so yeah to 1.5 or 2 so suppose if you notice okay you see everything getting passed okay all our test got passed we have written a very good test and this is how i used to write you know maybe a two years back this is how i used to write all my sessions okay so what are the things that that's wrong here okay the one thing yeah you all can easily find this is this should not belong here right it should be uh you are you're calling to the find element all those stuff should be happen in a in a page layers yes that is a very big mistake we will we will fix that but for now all we are wondering is to perform a simple assertion okay we are writing so much line of statements right so five lines of statement to just validate this okay again uh, to validate whether the link is having this again you can use a for each loop or you can use some lambdas to optimize it better i know that but 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 if you are a you know normal automation testers who, who are not aware of lambda that's absolutely fine we will do this way there is no harm okay so uh, we are writing so much of uh, lines of code to just validate this okay so in our next tutorial we will see how uh, a new library called assertj will help us to fix all this issue uh, until then you all have a very good day you know please do subscribe to my channel if you if you really like them right so if you 